Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon on this wonderful Monday morning. I keep saying Monday morning. It is not Portia. It is not Monday morning. It's Monday afternoon. Monday afternoon. I am Portia Wheatley. I am the founder and the president of a nonprofit organization acknowledged as Trophy of Life Incorporated. And we have the great honor and the privilege, and most of all, the God assignment to render hope encouragement, and inspiration to you, our audience across the whole wide world. Let me bring in my co-host. Hello, everyone. My name is Takara Swan, and I am so happy to be here with you today. I always think it's morning, too, when we do the broadcast, so it's all right. <laughs> so today's guest, guys, is no stranger to our broadcast. She's been on here before, so I cannot wait to hear what she has to say uh, today. But before we bring her on, you know what I'm going to say. Join our team. We need your help to spread hope, encouragement, and inspiration to the entire world. And you can do that by subscribing to our YouTube page, liking, sharing, spreading comments. This is how we change the world one person at a time. One person at a time. And believe me, it works. And we are very prayerful that in the last 242 days, this being the 242nd consecutive day that we brought you hope, encouragement, and inspiration. That we pray that you actually felt it, you heard it, you've seen it. And uh, we're going to continue with this assignment until the very end. We don't know what will come of it, become of it afterwards, but, you know, God's got something in store for us. Well, as Takira has already stated, our guest today is Shawan Petty, and she is a return guest. And it's amazing how we actually, we know the information that is that has been deposited in many of our guests, many of our guests that shared, that have already shared uh, in these last 242 days. And there are in other guests that we are at a point where, okay, I know she can give us this. I know he can give us that. I know if we ask, they may say yes. So we have asked again that uh, Shawan comes back with a word for a uh, motivational Monday mm, that will carry us through another week. But I know without a doubt, the experience that she's had, the knowledge that she has, and the heart that she has for people. She will definitely share with us a motivational Monday message that will bless you with hope, encouragement, and inspiration. Once again, Shawan, thank you for saying yes and accepting our invitation to come. The platform belongs to you. Wow, thank you so much. I, I have to say that I've been inspired and motivated uh, by you know, this project and also, of course, by you, you know how I feel about both of you. And so I counted a blessing and an honor to be great, able to grace your platform again. Um, and especially for Motivational Monday. And, um, you know, when you asked me, I was like, okay, what do I have to say to the people? <laughs> really started meditating on it. And, you know, sometimes, you know, how God works is you'd be like oh, the last minute situation. So I said, all right, let's see what we got to say. So I do have something to share with, um, with the people today. Um, today, I really want to talk to us about finding and listening to the sound of the genuine, the sound of the genuine in each and every one of us. Now, I got this from um, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person and mystic uh, theologian, Dr. Howard Thurman. I was first introduced to Dr. Thurman through seminary, through his writings and his teachings, particularly in spiritual formation. 
If you haven't had an opportunity to read some of Dr. Howard Thurman's works, I definitely encourage you to do that. Uh, but he made an amazing impact on me. And one of the things that he talks about is the importance of finding and listening to the sound of the genuine with each and every one of us. And what that sound is, is what a lot of us identify in church world as the still small voice of God. The sound of the genuine, it speaks to who we were since the very foundation of the world, right? So Jeremiah, you know, Jeremiah in the first chapter talks about God as he's calling the prophet. He says, you know what? I know you have all of these fears and trepidations about what I'm asking you to do, but the truth of the matter is I already called you. I already knew who you were before you were even formed in your mother's womb. And so that is what we're talking about when we talk about the sound of the genuine. It is that DNA, that spiritual DNA that was already deposited into each and every one of us to be able to walk out our purpose. So let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, during the past week, I had an opportunity to watch three different movies. And this is where this um, topic for Motivational Monday came from, actually, because I saw the thread through the three, the three of them. So I had an opportunity to watch Respect, um, amazing movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it and highly recommend it, uh, which for some of you who don't know is the story of Aretha Franklin. And then, of course, HBO was streaming Dreamgirls. So they brought Dream Girls back, probably because of Jennifer Hudson being in respect. Also, you know how Hollywood works. <laughs> so I was watching Dream Girls. And then last night, I ended up clicking on, I was trying to figure out what movie I was going to watch to wind out my, my week. And I ended up clicking on Favorite Son with Jonathan McReynolds. Now, I didn't even hear of this movie um, until last night when I was trying to find something to watch. But all three of these movies, they happen to be about musicians. But even more importantly, these three movies all talked about following your dream, finding the genuine, listening to that voice that is inside of each and every one of us. Sometimes it's contrary to the voice that we hear around us. Now, I want to read a couple of things from a book that I that I read is called Anchored in the Current uh, by Gregory C. Ellison, who is the editor, Gregory C. Ellison III. And um, I want to read a couple of things from Dr. Thurman in, in, this, in this book. Dr. Thurman says that if you cannot hear the sound of the genuine in you, you will all of your life spend your days on the ends of strings that somebody else pulls, okay? This is why he said it's so important for us to find that voice. We know in the movie um, Respect, and I know there was another movie that was done on the story, so it's not quite necessarily, um, you know, giving all the information, <laughs> but in the movie, even Aretha Franklin had to deal with being pulled by the strings of other people, right? And then Dream Girls, let's talk about Dream Girls. In Dream Girls, you know, you had the character Dina. Dina, you know, was being pulled by the strings of her husband to the point where he actually thought that he made her, okay? And then in the movie Favorite Son, you had two brothers who were dealing with who they were called to be and their preacher pastor father was trying to tell them what it is that he planned. Okay, not what God planned, but what he planned for their lives. And so I saw this string that connected all of these movies and I was like, okay. And not only did it connect all three of these movies, but it also spoke to a place that I have been myself in a place of knowing that when I graduated with my undergraduate degree that I wanted to go to seminary. But people who loved me and cared about me said, oh no, you can always do that. You should instead go to school for what you got your undergrad in. I got my undergrad in international relations and political science. And so I started just really being stagnant because I respected the voice, right? I respected the voice of the people who were telling me 
to go to school for something else. And I rejected the voice of the genuine within me that told me, Shawan, I have called you all the things that you've gone through in your life. That I'm trying to show you why I'm calling you to another place in me. I'm calling you to another place in ministry. And so I continued over, I guess, over a decade, not getting my master's degree and finally going to seminary anyway. <laughs> you know, so you have to. And of course, God redeems the time. He redeems the time for all of us, but we have to be mindful that God has a purpose and a plan for each and every one of us. And he's already locked it into our DNA. And that still small voice is always speaking to us, connecting the dots. I talk to people all the time who ask me, you know, how do I know my purpose? Well, there are many breadcrumbs along the way to help show you what God is calling you to do. And so don't mistake that still small voice that's within you. Um, another point that I wanted to make, which I found a fascinating correlation between Dr. Thurman's life and my own, was when he was younger, he was dealing, of course, with, um, he was um, alive during the um, civil rights mo movement. And so he was dealing with a lot of hatred from other people. And so with all of the chaos that was going on around him, he actually drew closer to God through nature. And so Dr. Thurman would go into the woods and, you know, talk to the animals, talk to God and really go within himself. Okay. And I look back at my childhood and I wasn't brought up during, you know, the same time frame that he was, but I dealt with bullying as a kid. You know, so I didn't have a lot of friends. My family was always working. My sister is actually nine years older than me. So she was off doing her own thing. Um, and so I found myself in this place of having to go inward. And so in order for you to find the voice of the genuine in you, you have to take some time and go inward. You know, that is very, very important. And sometimes God will allow things happen on the outside of our lives that forces us to go more inward, okay? Um, during these times that we're living in, the pandemic, I know a lot of people have been struggling with many different things. However, at the same time, it was a, a, a thing that helped us to, or actually forced us to go inward um, because of all the things that were happening around us. And so I really um, want to encourage you to know that silence is a good thing. That's the other point that I want to make. Silence is a good thing. Um, a lot of times, I don't know about you, but you may come home after a long day at work and you turn on the television and you start watching TV and you're not really watching TV, but you just start flicking like over and over and over again. Or you may listen to the radio or you may have something going on or you're like, who can I call? You may be flipping through your phone and say, who can I call right now? Okay, all of those things are voices, okay? The TV is a constant running voice. The radio is constantly running voices. Talking to people are constantly running voices. So when do you have the opportunity to sit in stillness and silence in order to hear the voice of the genuine, the voice of God, the voice of spirit, who is telling you and giving you directions about what to do during this time. It's so important. And I wanna go back to the movies that I mentioned. In all of those movies, there was a they. Have you ever heard someone say, well, they said I couldn't do it, or they said, this is not for me. I see my camera went off and it's back on. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is not for you. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. You can't make money doing that. All these different things that they say. And so I wanna ask you, who are your they? Identify those people, identify those people. And what I really want you to do is if it's not in direct um, relationship with the still small voice that you hear within yourself, the voice of the genuine, then you need to silence those voices. You need to silence the days because what they'll do is they'll pull you away from, and sometimes they're very well-intentioned, 
but they can pull you away from what it is that God has purposed and planned for your destiny. You'll get there because God is not a man that he should lie, but it's all about timing. Will you get there at the time that he really wanted you to? Okay, so silence the voices that are all around you, all the static, all the chaos, and really take some time, just you, God, and that still small voice of the genuine within yourself so that you can hear what it is that God is saying to you right now, who he's created you to be, what gifts you have to offer to the world. I think too about, I just told a friend of mine that I am in this place again that I remember when I was a little girl being bullied where I felt like it was just me and me alone. And I remember I would go downstairs, I would sing to God um, all the time. <laughs> I would talk to the squirrels. Yes, I love animals. And I would just really contemplate but little did I know that God was forming a mystic in me because of the importance for me to be able to know God's voice clearly um, and to know him intimately so that when things come along that are contrary to his voice, then I won't listen to those things. It's not always easy because those voices are often louder than God's voices. But if you practice, <laughs> going inward and listening to the sound of the genuine so that you can contradict those voices, um, it will get easier. So I'm in this place again where I find myself in somewhat of a lonely place. But again, it's for purpose, I believe, because God wants to fashion and form something else in me so that I can then move on to the next assignment that he has for my life. So don't be afraid of those times. Don't be afraid of those moments where you may feel like, oh my goodness, where did everybody go? It's okay. Because really what's happening is God wants to get your attention. He wants to be intimate with you so that you will know beyond the shadow of the doubt that the crazy stuff that he's telling you to do really is God talking and telling you to do those things because the world is going to be super, super loud, sometimes saying the opposite. And sometimes it'll be people that you respect saying the opposite, but you have to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're on the right path. So that's what I want to leave with you today on this Motivational Monday. Take some time in stillness and silence and listen to the genuine within you so that when it's time for God to release you to the world, you will be well ready and equipped and um, confident in the things that God is telling you to do. That's all I have. Go on. Go on. That was powerful. Oh my God. Thank you. First, let me thank the Lord for depositing that in you and bringing it all together. I love that. The voice of the genuine. And when you talked about coming in, um, coming in the house, especially if you don't live with anyone, you know, you turn on the TV, that's a voice. You turn the, whether it is the radio or YouTube or all those voices and you don't have an opportunity, well, you do have the opportunity, but you don't take the opportunity mm -hmm. to sit in silence. Silence can be powerful so that you can, here, the genu genuine, it, it's amazing how God brings out uh, the simple things and make it so profound. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate sure. that. This has been really good. This has been really good. It definitely God always comes has. Through. It definitely has. Shawan, Shawani, <laughs> that was great. That was so good. That was such a motivational um, topic that you talked about. And I think that's going to benefit a lot of people. I know you were talking to me for sure. Um, and one thing mm -hmm. I do like that you said is, you know, practice going inward. It has to become a habit and mm -hmm. it's okay. So our viewers out there are like, you know, ah, I'm having a little bit of trouble. It's okay. You have to practice at everything. It doesn't matter what it is. And also 
it even it comes to the same thing with staying with yourself listening to yourself listening mm -hmm. to that voice within listening to holy spirit if you're a believer you have to be able to to hear and decipher which voice to listen to and that is so important during this time and one thing that is positive with this pandemic is that no matter who you are you've had to look inward so i think at least most people should have learned something about themselves that they did not know already whether it was good or bad you had to learn more about yourself because you had to stay with yourself yeah. <laughs> you had to we weren't able to go outside we weren't we were quarantined so mm -hmm. i'm sure you learned things you liked you didn't like maybe you got a chance to evaluate your life or where you are like well i'm not happy am i happy or should i work on this maybe i should cut back on some things i think this is the perfect time to, to practice going inward. That was such a relevant word, yes. as, if I can say. And it's so motivational because it's not too late. I think I say that all the time. And when I say that, I really know I'm talking to myself as well, but it is not too late to be who you think you should have been. It's, you know, it's the saying they always say, but it's really not too late to be who you think you should have been. It's not too late to be who God called you to be. And you just have to walk in it, be yeah. bold and be brave enough to listen to the still small voice, listen to the sound of the genuine. And yes. you, yeah, you have come out today to say that. And I just really, really appreciate you sharing that with us and coming on the broadcast today. Sure. I was wondering, I was wondering where that was going, the sound, no, the voice of the genuine. I was, how, is she going to bring this out? That was excellent. Yeah, because was everything really else is counterfeit, you know? Mm -hmm. Everything else is counterfeit. And it happens to all of us, you know? We go through life and we pick up all these messages along the way. And the truth is that God has already imprinted a message on us before he created us. And so in order for us to be sensitive to that message, we really have to spend time with God and we really have to spend time going inward. And I love what you said, Takara, as far as it sometimes not being something positive. You may learn something negative about yourself, you know, but the only way that you're going to find that out is if you take time going inward. So thank, thank you for that. Take the time to do it. Take the time to do it. Just take the time to do it. And another thing you said, Shawan, was when you talked about, um, those things are already in you. God deposits them in you. And when you take the time to listen and to develop them, then he can present you to the world. Mm -hmm. He's at that appointed time. Yes. He will present you to the world. He will announce you because he your will. experiences in life sets the platform. Right. It, it, I mean, I'm reminded of a time, I think it was John Hanna had talked about, he's doing all these things in us now. He's causing us to experience all these things in life. And, you know, you go through this experience, you go through that experience and all at the same time, it's all behind the curtain. But mm -hmm. when he opens that curtain and presents you, you know, you have the right form and formation that you can just do what you have to do that he's created you to do. Absolutely. I mean, look at all the stuff that Joseph went through, you know, before he got to his destiny, you know, to save others. And so there's all that stuff that's working behind the scenes. And sometimes I believe that God even puts a veil in front of people's eyes because he doesn't want people to interfere with the things that God is doing. And so sometimes people don't even really see the genuine in you because it's not that time for them to see um, who he is working and creating you to be. So don't be discouraged when people don't, mm -hmm. don't see your greatness because it's, it's really, um, it's God, it's, it's God doing that. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I just want everyone to listen to this, like listen to what she's actually saying, because this can be applied to everyone, no matter who you are, what you believe, where, where your background is. It can be applied to everyone. You just have to walk in it and take some time to, to sit in quietness just for a moment. You know, even if it's a couple minutes a day, 
because I even realized, um, cause you know, when I'm driving my car, I am blasting music, but, but sometimes I get to the point where even when I'm driving, I just need to turn the radio off. I just need to be present in that moment yep. instead of, you know, going in the whole new world of whatever music I'm listening to, you know, music is such a big thing, but you know, uh, you need to just sit in silence just for a little bit. Mm -hmm. just to see and you never know you never know what God might say you never know what that voice might tell you to do you just have to pay attention to it and just sit in stillness for just a moment just a moment those moments can be very powerful (laughs) yes and isn't it amazing the messages that you can get just being quiet Mm -hmm. absolutely Absolutely. I mean, because you think about it, like what, let's think when you're trying to have a conversation with another person, I mean, how in the world can you really listen if you're constantly talking over them? You know, you won't be able to hear what they're trying to say, but that's the same thing that we do with, with God. We just keep talking, 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 you know, we call it prayer, but we don't give God an opportunity to, to respond to what we're saying because prayer is supposed to be a conversation. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people realize that. <laughs> this has been so good. So good. Well, we're going to leave you for today. But of course, you know, we will be back tomorrow with another message and another guest to share hope, encouragement, and inspiration. Thank you for that great message on today, Shawan. We mm-hmm. so appreciate you. And I know our audience do as well. God bless you. And we will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Bye, everyone. Have a blessed one.